Philadelphia Eagles right tackle Lane Johnson is speaking out about his battle with anxiety and depression. He's been out for several weeks now for what the team called a personal issue. Alicia Roberts joins us from Lincoln Financial Field with more from Lane Johnson in his own words. Alicia. Yuki, good afternoon. This morning, Lane Johnson issued a very personal statement joining other athletes like Simone Biles, the Olympic gold medal gymnast, to help break the silence for those also struggling with mental health. Eagles Super Bowl champion Lane Johnson, in his own words, opening up about his battle with depression and anxiety. It comes after the franchise right tackle missed the past three games, many wondering about his return. In a tweet Monday, Johnson saying, I appreciate the positive notes and messages as I've worked hard to restore my personal life. Depression and anxiety are things I've dealt with for a long time and have kept hidden from my friends and family. If you're reading this and struggling, please know that you are not alone. You're kind of supposed to play through. Difficulty, right? According to the CDC, one in six adults will have depression at some time in their life. It takes the same amount of courage. To Einstein say. clinical sports psychologist Dr. Brian Gallagher says he's hopeful Johnson's public words will go a long way in ending the stigma. Something like a mental health problem, mental health injury is treated the same way as, you know, a pulled hand or Concussion. It reminds you that everybody is human and that everybody can go through difficult times. During his absence, Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni wearing Johnson's number 65 on his visor, a sign of support echoed by Eagles fans. That's the biggest thing. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to express yourself. It's okay to show emotion. And Johnson thanked Eagles fans, calling them the greatest fans in the world. He also said he is excited to rejoin his coaches and his teammates. The Eagles are set to take on the Raiders this Sunday. Johnson expected to be there in Las Vegas. Reporting live outside Lincoln Financial, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you. Welcome back, Lane.